How does a vaccine work? Have you ever wondered why getting a vaccine prevents you from getting sick in the future? While it might not look like it, our everyday environment is actually filled with pathogens, tiny organisms too small to see that can make you sick. So, how does our body keep healthy? Our immune system keeps us healthy normally. It has white blood cells, which act like soldiers in our blood that work to fight off invaders, like foreign viruses or bacteria that do not belong in the body. Just like soldiers need practice to prepare against an attack, our immune system works best when defending against the pathogen it has already encountered. A vaccine functions like a practice run, allowing our body to build up defenses before encountering a pathogen such as a virus. Let's take a closer look. When the immune system first encounters something foreign, the body takes a while to figure out how to fight or counter it. This is because there are many different immune cells working together, just like there are many different jobs within an army. Patrolling cells, called macrophages, are the first ones to meet or encounter pathogens. But it doesn't stop there. Also involved in helping the body fight off diseases are two types of cells called B and T cells. B and T cells work together to make antibodies. Antibodies prevent the invading virus from doing harm, but only some antibodies will work against the virus. In order to fight off the pathogen, the macrophage needs to find the right few B or T cells out of all the cells in the body that will make the right antibodies. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. But what exactly determines which B and T cells will work against the virus and what do these cells do? Each B or T cell makes proteins of unique shape on its outside surface, which are called receptors. Every virus also has different shapes on its surface. These are antigens. Antigens tell the body that the virus is a pathogen and is something that should not belong in the body. Just like different keys fit different locks, each virus's antigens fit different B or T cells. If a cell has a receptor which matches the antigen of a virus, it becomes activated and divides, producing huge quantities of antibodies to disable the virus. To be exact, up to a thousand antibodies per second. So what does this all have to do with vaccines? Vaccines expose the body to a weakened version of the virus. Even though the virus in the vaccine cannot harm you, your immune system still recognizes it as an enemy. In response, the body creates a special kind of B cell called a memory cell. Memory cells remember which antibodies work against a specific threat. After vaccination, if your body is exposed to the actual full-strength virus, the body already has memory cells, meaning it can destroy the virus much faster and more effectively. Thus, a vaccinated person is immune to the virus he or she was vaccinated for. Take a look at the graph of the number of antibodies made in the body over time. The first peak shows the amount of antibody produced the first time the body sees a particular virus. This first exposure could be from a vaccine, like we have been talking about. Remember, the vaccine shows the body weak viruses, so the person usually doesn't get sick when they first see the virus. This could also happen when a person gets sick from a virus they haven't had before. For example, the first time someone has a chickenpox virus and gets a rash as their body tries to figure out how to fight the virus. The second peak is the amount of antibodies produced if the body sees the same virus a second time. 
you see that the second exposure produces more antibodies in a shorter time than the first exposure to a pathogen. In other words, if the immune system goes up against the virus it has seen before, the response is faster and stronger, and you don't get sick a second time. This is why if you've had chickenpox, or if you were vaccinated for it, you don't have chickenpox again. Your body has already encountered the virus through either a shot or just by overcoming the chickenpox virus naturally. There have been many successful vaccines for diseases such as polio, smallpox, and hepatitis B. However, some viruses mutate or change too quickly for a single vaccine to be effective. This means the antigen shapes on their surfaces are constantly changing. The immune system can't make antibodies that work for a long time because the antibody won't match the virus's antigen after the virus mutates. This is why there is no vaccine for HIV and you're recommended a new flu shot every year because these viruses change quickly. Now, let's go back to the vaccine boy. There's nothing magical about the vaccine boy. Getting a vaccine just primes his body's immune system, making him more prepared to defend against specific invaders. By getting vaccinated, you train your immune system to fight off pathogens, making it less likely you'll get sick.